We have a new weapon in the game that's completely busted in PvP for Elder Ring and even PvE. It is a crazy weapon being the Wing of Astel. We'll be highlighting it in today's build showcase and highlighting some PvP action as well. Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunkomi Lordy and we're back on Elder Ring once again to highlight a new weapon being the Wing of Astel and a new sorcery build for today. It's been quite intriguing to do so. But before we do get into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, Let's get straight into this. So the first thing we want to highlight is the Wing of Astel. So go to our equipment. That is the weapon right there. It's classified as a curved sword and has some slash abilities. And we got a max now at plus 10. The attack power is quite crazy. Critical is pretty decent. Alongside that, the attribute scaling is the most important here with intelligence and B status and dexterity at C. So if you have a build with intelligence and dexterity, this is going to favor that build so darn well. So this is the weapon to go for, no doubts whatsoever. And the attack power with this weapon is at 585, which is a good amount to have on a weapon that hits so fast with high dexterity as well. And our stats for our build are highlighted on the right side with Vigor 41, Mind 40, Dexterity at 33, Intelligence at 70. So we busted out that aspect there. We pretty much a glass cannon in this case, but we're gonna do a whole lot of damage with this. That is the Wing of Bastel. The animations you get from it uh, is a light attack right up here. Quite quick, the actual slashes it does have. Then you do have a heavy attack, as you can see, which shoots a projectile. Like air slashes for a moon greatsword. So that's the aspect you get there. But if you do charge this up, you actually get two slashes. So doing some potential uh, conditioning moves towards enemy, then you surprise them with a heavy animation like this. They dodge one, they forget to dodge the second, they take the damage. It's pretty good and it does not use any FP at all. But the Ashable is so clutch here. It's pretty much like our last video. So if you've seen our last video highlighting the Bastard Star, it has that same mechanic, but instead of being 360 degrees and a slow animation, it's around 180 degrees and it's super fast in comparison to the Bastard Star. Make sure to check out that video. It's linked in the description below if you want to see another weapon that you can utilize for these type builds for your mage. But the actual on this build is a showcase right up here. Whole bunch of stars collapsing, colliding, exploding towards the enemies, whatever it may be. It is super fun to do. There's a quick animation of this and I believe you can hold it down for longer. Maybe it just looks like it's been held down for longer, but it's the same thing. But if anyone gets hit in those actual areas, they will take damage from each explosion if they're able to dodge the first one, they'll get hit by the second one. That's the benefit of that ability. And it's really, really fun to use this Ash War Nebula on our actual Wing of Astal weapon. A really fun time. In the rest of the kit, we have Bloodhound Course for the Bloodhound Step. To dodge whatever we want with this actual weapon. Really fun to utilize that Ash War. Then alongside that, we have our Glintstone Staff for over here, maxed out. So the intelligence scaling is an S, so we get most damage out of that. And it's really cool for having that aspect. And alongside that, we have the matching headpiece as showcase, aka Freezer. And it does so much because it scales up your damage output of your certain abilities, like Stars of Ruin, which we do have in one of our memory slots. Then we have this armor set here to reduce cold damage if we get hit by any type of cold ability or cold sorcery. Alongside another piece that does also scale the Stars of Ruin, you end up using more mana for Stars of Ruin, but it does potentially more damage from the bio that you get out of this ability as showcase. And we also have other pieces of clothing that don't really matter. Alongside that, we have the Shard of Alexander, greatly boosts the attack power of your skills, so that'll be boosting up your Ash Wars, so that's really good. Alongside that, we have Race's Dexterity through this actual Talisman here, which actually helps the power level that we have for our attributes being scaled up on a weapon to 585. If we use the Intelligence one, since we're already at cap, or pretty much past a couple soft caps already on Intelligence, it doesn't really help out as much for the weapon itself compared to the Dexterity benefits. So that's why we use that to highlight the weapon overall. Then we have the Glintstone Blade as well. Spell consume less FP, but max HP is reduced. Pretty much glass cannon, but I can spam more with my spells. Really nice. Greatly raises potency of sorcery as well. And then we have our flask, six to eight. It will obviously decrease depending on what game mode you're gonna go into. Invasions, evaders, being on your own lobby and people joining your world, whatever it may be, that's the case there. Then we also have our flask as well. Significantly negates damage received from the first one. And the second aspect, heal status and raises resistance. This will make me a little bit more tankier or at least survive one hit in some aspect when I'm going against a hard opponent. So that was our build, but now let's highlight our spell. So our first spell that we do have is Cardian Phalanx. This ability will activate and essentially if any target gets close to me, they'll get staggered by this ability. Really, really good. The next ability is Terror Ability, right up here on the Terror spell. Increases all magical damage by 35%. Really, really nice to have on certain abilities. What comes with that well is the cannon, which you can charge up and provides nuke enemies if it does land, as you can see. Well, that went over. Let's do another demonstration over here. 
When it does land, it does crazy huge damage and a huge explosion. Really good for area effect damage overall. Let's ring a pot. And our next spell is Stars of Ruin. It just chases down targets and it's really great for pressure overall. Really nice. Then alongside Founding Rain, which actually helps us if we do get engaged on, it'll leave a certain mist in the air that actually rains down damage from above. Really, really nice to have. And then we have our Dark Moon, which is a beautiful ability to have. It applies frost damage and pretty much magic damage. Really nice. The next ability being the bow, you can charge it up, has area effect and shoots four arrows out of it. Really nice, good from a high elevation on a cliff side. And then we have our counter ability, which you can place into the air, any spells and I believe incantations will actually get redirected into that orb and pretty much not hit me. If I'm standing over here and a spell goes past it, it'll go through the actual orb and disappear. That is the goal. A really good kit to have on our character. I'm gonna highlight the potential as we jump into some PVP duels, matches, invasions, and allow people to invade us this is going to be so much fun. Let's get into it. Please do not be in the boss room. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he's on the staircase. I think he's on the staircase. Oh my god. This would be perfect timing. Set it up. Did he just kill himself? I hear him. I see him. There we go, damage, one kill. I killed the host already. I can't believe I killed the host already. Oh my god, he only killed his buddy too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I killed him in a second. Even though I died, it didn't really matter. But I killed the host in a second. Unbelievable setup with the Ash of All. Love to see that. I want to try and pretty much camp the bridge for a bit and have some fights here. Go in. Oh, they're down there. They're down there. Is that the same team? No, it's not. It's a whole different team. Let's activate everything. Nuke. GG. I win. GG. I win. Outplayed. Absolutely outplayed. You'll love it. A three man party. See you later, man. See you later. <laughs> Back on the bridge. With that. With that. Please tell me the below. And the boss aspect yet? Maybe not. Maybe not. Activate our abilities. We'll make sure we're completely ready for this. I'll use my nebula right around here. Sometimes they camp there. They did not. He's further down. Wait, he's further down. Oh my god. Found him. I found you, dude. That's his buddy. Show me the real one. Is he a bullet tip here? Because I'm safe no matter what. Can we nuke this? Can we nuke this? Oh my god. Oh my god! Come on, come on. You gotta move, gotta move. Gotta move. Can we heal up for a second? Potentially moon? Can we moon in time? We moon? He's watching us. Let's heal up. Good position. A good position. Nasty. He might be dead. He's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Wait, wait, move, move, move. Air slashes. Got him off guard. That's it. Outplayed. Completely outplayed. You new buddy? See you later. Oh my god. It was a tight area, so it was quite hard, but we made it work. We made it work. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, right next to him. Right next to him. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Nebula. Dodge. Nebula. Dodge. Oh, my God. Hit him. There we go. There we go. GG. GG. Now I'm going to run away. Thank you. I'm safe. Easy. Easy smacks. And I win, man. I win, buddy. I win. This is my bridge. 
I own this bridge. And hopefully gameplay speaks for itself when it comes down to this weapon choice being the wing of Astil. It's actually a crazy ass weapon with the build that we've made. It's pretty much perfection right now for our mage build. I love it and I do adore it. And it shows so much power behind it. Hopefully gameplay did showcase that today. And you may actually give this game a try and actually give this build a try too because it's really fun to utilize. But mates, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this, and I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye-bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.